to another episode of Ballerific. My name is Alex Olin, joined by Banjo Albano. And we're glad that you can join us tonight. Our first guest was taken by the Seoul Samsung Thunders, fifth pick in the in the second round of 2011 KBL draft. He's a two-time KBL All-Star now. Recently, he's re-signed with the Thunders on a one-year deal. He's a veteran of three East Asia Super League events and was the leading scorer of the 2018 East Asia Super League Summer Super 8. Welcome, Lee Guan He. Thanks for joining us, a.k.a. God Guan He. Listen, listen, Simon. Listen. I, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening. So, so jo- joining Lee tonight is a star in the PBA, former teammate of Lee. He's a product of the NCAA Division II school, Notre Dame de Namur in Belmont, California. He was the 17th overall pick in the 2015 PBA draft by the NLEX Road Warriors. Currently, he's with the Talking Text Petropa, and he's looking forward to being one of the future stars of the franchise. Please welcome Mr. Simon and CISO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, woo. How's it going, Simon? Good, it's good. How are you guys doing? It's great to have you guys here. You know, really excited to connect you guys. I know you, 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 you shared some past history playing together in the PBA, but we'll get into that shortly. You guys are both in different parts of your careers, definitely taking the basketball journey by storm. So let's start with Simon, you know, fall in love with the game and take us back to the roots. Um, I think I fell in love with the game at a really young age. Uh, my dad was the one who put the basketball in my crib and kind of just filled the house with like, and the TV with just basketball. So I was just kind of like born into it. Uh, my whole family is a basketball family. My sister played basketball. My uncles played basketball. Uh, so there's a big, huge Philam community in, in the Bay Area. To college was, um, um, I was just super small and just didn't fit the mold of what D1 colleges were looking for. Um, so ultimately, I played really well at an open gym at Notre Dame and they signed me at the, on the spot. I was super lucky to, to play two years there. And then I think the transition to ultimately knowing that I wanted to play ba- uh, professional basketball was when I knew that, you know, going to a D2 school and not really making it far in the tournament and, and not really being able to have that exposure to you know, make it to the NBA because that's everybody's goal in the States is to play at the highest level. So once I knew that, I knew like my culture and my ethnicity uh, was a good fallback to uh, fulfilling my dream to be a professional basketball player. So that's when I started, you know, researching and, and talking to a bunch of these other films that were doing what I wanted to do. I kind of just banked on that. And luckily, I, I, I say it because there's a bunch of films that go to the Philippines and then end up going back home. So everything fell into place and I got my opportunity and I took advantage. And uh, yeah, five years into the league now and it's going good. I mean, I'm excited for what the future holds. I want to I switch over to uh, God Guan He over, aka Lee Guan He over here. <laughs> uh, talk, about, uh, talk about your love for the game. Like, wh- when did it start? Like, do you, it, was there an exact moment when you really transitioned and you were like, damn, I can, I can do this, bro? Unlike, uh, like Simon, he, to him, basketball is it's, it's like he was born with it. Like, as soon as he was born, he fell in love with the game. In the beginning, uh, basketball was only a hobby. And uh, his friends usually called him a lot to the games because of his athletic ability. But they were making fun of him because he couldn't make a play. So he got really mad on it. So he started practicing really hard. He had lots of uh, difficulties in the middle of his process to the league, to the professional level. But he, in his character, he, he doesn't like to lose. So he practiced a lot every single day. He woke up early till he went to bed, he practiced. I mean, uh, he started playing basketball as a hobby, but because he never liked to lose, he continuously practiced over and over and eventually became uh, an all-star in of KBL twice. And now he's known as a star player in the league. Even though it began as just a hobby and then eventually, you know, got you into the PBA in 2016. Was that just like the competitive fire? Or, you know, you just wanted to go at guys like Simon over here and, and prove it to yourself that you can do it. From what he remembers, uh, he was very different from the guards in the KBL. And he was a really uh, 
good shooter and he, he was physically strong. So that made him want to learn from him. Kwani that uh, Simon remembers and Kwani now are totally different. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he got much better and he, he gets paid more, he has a higher salary. He's gonna get paid more. He's gonna get and it's not gonna be easy for him, for Simon to get uh, in contact with him. This <laughs> oh man. I know, your Instagram is private. <laughs> One thing that stood out to you was Lee's work ethic. Um, I would always come to the gym super early. We would get shots up. The first time I met him, I introduced myself and you know, we already like click because he he likes to get work in, I like to get the work in. So we would always play one on one after practice and Lee would never beat me. <laughs> crazy. 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 That's that's his favorite word. Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> So what do you think about like the what international competition does? Do you think international competition kind of spurs that on? Because that's kind of the platform that East Asia Super League is, where you have all these different international guards, forwards, whatever coaching styles, different different styles of play that you've never seen before that you go up against. Uh, when he went to Philippines, he, he met a bunch of uh, guards with uh, brilliant individual skills and he, he had some chances to meet, uh, play against some Japanese guards who follow a different system from Korean basketball system and he also met a bunch of Chinese players who are much taller and he wants to learn how to play in different systems but among those uh, experiences playing with Simon was the best <laughs> My guy. Um, we, we spent some time off the court as well, get, getting to know you. Um, you know, could you share with us, you know, life off the court and who the real Simon and Ciso is? You know, life off the court. Mm. Share it to the fans. Let, let them know what it is. Okay. My sister just gave birth to uh, my nephew, so he's about one now. Just been FaceTiming back home with him wow. uh, a lot. Yeah, he, he's been like my my main focus back home, just trying to be part of his life. Uh, living out here, you know, you kind of miss out on a lot of things because we only get to go back home maybe once or twice a year if we're lucky. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you miss out on a lot of birthdays, Christmases, Thanksgiving, you know, just the, the holidays you spend with family. Not to burst uh, Lee's bubble on the triple-double that he's going to show me, <laughs> When I go to Korea, but I have uh, recently been taken, and I have a girlfriend now, so um, <laughs> I have been. Oh, just, uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> what? <laughs> just one, bro. I'm not like you. Oh, not like God. you. <laughs> <laughs> that was Lee. That was the that was the young Simon you 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 met. No, no, that was no, the no. young. <laughs> mature. Five years ago, uh, maybe uh, six. This <laughs> yes, 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 Lee. yes, when when you were here and I showed you a great time out, I introduced you to a, yeah, I know, but I'm <laughs> sure. and so yeah, that's just been my two main focuses right now. I've also you know video gaming since quarantine. I'm actually playing Call of Duty Warzone. And Lee, you're you're also you're also a gamer, right? The Lee now versus the Simon now. Who wins one on one in basketball and who wins one on one playing Call of Duty? Not a more Simon and uh, he just said he can win Simon on anything. <laughs> one on one, on anything. Come on, Simon, one on one. Come on, oh. let's go. Come on. Go right now. I got my shorts on. Okay, okay. You got the clock, Alex? I got the clock. All right, you Three, got it. Two, one, go. Let's go. Halfway. Twenty. Go. Three. Two. One. Stop. Stop. Time. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Oh. That's the record. He get. How many he get? Lee, what would you get? You said thirty-three. Thirty-three. How <laughs> I many? You be lying. How many? <laughs> Lee be lying as hell. <laughs> hey, he, did, hey, he didn't stop when you said stop. That's why. 
All right, first to 15. Count that right. out. On go. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, Ooh, I'm here three go. four, five. <laughs> Wait, you gotta go all the way down. Wait, you guys gotta go all the way down and up. You gotta go all the way down. <laughs> Look at Lee, go for the end of the floor. 14. 15. Oh! Whoa. Oh! oh. So we got it. We're taking it. We just did physical. Now we're going mental. Question number one: How many videos? Oh man! It was YouTube. <laughs> Only watched the one. Where's one? No, number one is forty. Number two, okay. forty-two. Number three, thirty-six. Woo. All right. All right. So you guys ready to reveal? This is All what right. I got. You're saying two. All right, two. so 40. Lee, you're saying two? No, yeah. Lee, the answer's 44. The answer's <laughs> you don't even know. He doesn't even know. Oh, man, it's his YouTube channel, and he said he's been on it since quarantine. So now number two. In August 2018, Simon and Cecil was named PBA Player of the Week after averaging 20.5 points and setting a career-high 30 points in a game against Katropa. Which week was it? August 6th through 12th, 13th through 19th, 20th to 26th, or August 27th to September 1st. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> ah! Lee, this was after this was after you you, you got there. So, Simon, you said three, yeah? All right, Simon's correct. So question okay. three. Which player was not the leading scorer of an East Asia Super League tournament? Was it one, Lance Stevenson, two, Kyle Fogg, three, That's Lee Guan He, or four, Ra Gunna? Oh, easy. Three. Lee Guan He. <laughs> <laughs> What's your, what's your answer? And Lee says number one, Lance Stevenson. Lee is correct. Lance Stevenson oh, was yeah. the MVP, but he was not the leading scorer of the tournament. Nice, Lee. You know your East Asia Super League. There you go. Stats. So, number four, what is the most points cool. scored in a single game by a KBL team? One, 120, two, 125, three, 130, or four, 135. Lee says two, Simon says two, actually four uh, with 135. Oh, that was my next one. This is really for, for the game. And and for the bragging rights. What is the most <laughs> point for in a single game by a PBA team? Is it one, oh, wow. 157, two, 177? 3187 or 4197. I'm gonna go with a guess right here. Lee's saying four and Simon's saying two. Lee is correct with four. Wow. <laughs> it is 197. No way. Who scored never that? Record, you never set the record on November 21st, 1985. We've concluded our trivia and, and Lee has completed the comeback on the trivia despite the uh, the misstep with his own YouTube video. Wait, but, isn't that yeah, isn't that like a tie then? Because that's a minus one for sure. <laughs> He's finishing. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I gave him the He's going to we just know that Lee has the this. brain, and I just have the, the physical stature of a Greek god. So, <laughs> <laughs> Alex, Banjo, man, thank you guys for having us. I know for me, uh, I appreciate you guys even thinking about me. We miss you out here, Banj. Alex, thank you again for having me. Um, Lee, I miss you, my brother. I hope everything goes well uh, in your future career. And uh, keep in touch, man. I'll be watching your YouTube videos. He wants to uh, say oh, thank yeah. you to all of you guys oh, for uh, calling him out. It was a great opportunity to uh, meet Simon again and have a com uh, fun conversation with him like in the past. And he wants to keep in touch with you guys all and hopefully meet again someday soon. He's asking when, when are we going to meet again like this? Tomorrow? Yeah. What time? Yeah. Same time. Same time. Okay. Same time. Same time. Yeah, we'll send oh, through the awesome. thing. Again, thank, thank you guys for joining us. Um, you guys all be safe. We can't wait to get you get back on the court. And hopefully in the near future, we can get you both competing against each other uh, with us at, here, here at East Asian Super League. Thank you for this episode of Ball Rific. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. All right, guys. Much love. Bye, guys. Bye.